Hi, it's Kristen May, and for today's Wild Wednesday, we are going to have a wild workout. We are going to learn about the behavior of some of the Low Country's native amazing animals. Then we are going to put our skills and our strength to the test to see if we can mimic some of these animals' behaviors. And trust me, it's going to be quite a workout. If you're stuck at home and feel like you need to stretch your legs and shake your tail feathers, join me and the animals for this Wild Wednesday workout. Up first are leopard frogs. Frogs are amphibians that commonly live in wetland areas here in the Low Country. Keeping our wetland and runoff water clean is very important for all animals that live in the wetlands because muddy and polluted runoff can make wetlands unhealthy, not just for frogs, but for all animals that call wetlands home. Oftentimes, frogs will hop from one area to another looking for clean water. So our first exercise is going to be hopping like a frog looking for clean water 10 times. red cockaded woodpeckers or RCWs. RCWs are an endangered woodpecker that live in longleaf pine trees. RCWs make homes for themselves by pecking out a hole or a cavity into longleaf pine trees. The Francis Marion National Forest works really hard to preserve the longleaf pine tree ecosystem. This ecosystem is absolutely essential for the endangered red cockaded woodpecker. It can take an RCW up to two years of clinging to branches with their four toes, two in the front, two in the back, while they're pecking out their cavity, their home. To mimic this for our workout, we are going to do 10 pull-ups. exercise is to honor the purple martin. A purple martin is a type of migratory bird. That means it travels pretty long distances as the seasons change looking for both food and shelter. Purple martins are just one of thousands of species of birds that migrate through the southeast. Purple martins are known for their speed and agility. They are able to dart around and catch flying insects. To mimic the purple martin in flight, our exercise is going to be 10 jumping jacks. like to live in open areas where they can very easily see insects that they can have for their next meal. Bluebirds will often sit up on perches scanning the ground for a yummy insect and then jump down to eat it. So to exercise like a bluebird we're going to jump up and down a perch 10 times. are larger than the more common gray squirrels that I'm sure you see all of the time. Fox squirrels prefer to live in pine forests like you can find in the Francis Marion National Forest. Squirrels are kind of like nature's tightrope walkers. They have extremely good balance. So to channel our inner squirrel, we're going to try to balance on a balance beam. done 
have you worked up a sweat yet? I have. I need a water break. Animals and humans always need to make sure they stay hydrated when they're being active. On to our first reptile, the Carolina anole. Carolina anoles are bright green and they have a red flap under their throat called a dewlap. When Carolina anoles feel threatened, they try to make themselves look stronger and larger by doing push-ups. So let's try to make ourselves look larger and stronger by doing 10 push-ups. National Wildlife Refuge. Wood ducks use tree cavities near the water to nest and lay their eggs. Just hours after hatching, wood duck ducklings will crawl out of the cavity, jump out of the hole to join their moms down in the water. Adult wood ducks can propel themselves from the water into the air by rapidly flapping their wings. So, to exercise like a wood duck, we're gonna rotate our arms 10 times. On to another bird, the killdeer. Killdeers don't make their nests up in trees like a lot of other birds. They actually make their nests and lay their eggs on open ground, places like schoolyards and lawns. After they lay their eggs, mother killdeers will often protect them by squatting over their nest to cover the eggs up. So, to exercise like a killdeer, let's do 10 squats. one of my favorite animals, the red wolf. The red wolf is extremely endangered. There are less than 20 left in the wild. If you want to learn more about red wolves and even see some for yourself, come visit the Seaweed Visitor Center. We have four beautiful resident red wolves that you can come see. Red wolves are predators capable of extremely fast bursts of speed. So to exercise like a red wolf, we're going to sprint back and forth a few times. You can do this as many times as you need to burn off any extra energy that you might have. you learned something, maybe had a little bit of fun, and even got a workout in today. I'll see you next time. Stay wild.